Hello, I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles. In this video, I'm going to give you an update on Sunny Pig's health. A couple of months ago, we had some bad news about Sunny Pig's health, so we thought we'd give you an update on how she's doing now. If you saw our previous video about Sunny, you'll know she had to go in for an operation. She had been losing weight, was becoming less active and looking rather unhappy too. After a scan, the vet thought it was a tumour on her ovaries, but thankfully it turned out to be cysts, which are less serious. And these were successfully removed during the operation. Sunny had to have her own space next to the other guinea pigs for a week after her operation while she recovered. She was a little wobbly and slow and didn't have much of an appetite in the first few days. But after about four days, she was improving really well and moving around a lot better. After a week, we removed the cage partition so she could be back with the other guinea pigs. As time went on, she got better and better. It was unfortunate that at the time of her operation, and for a while after, we were having work done in our house, which meant we had to put them upstairs in a spare room to protect them from dust. This meant we didn't see the guinea pigs as much as we usually did, but we did make frequent visits throughout the day to make sure they were okay. Before we go on to show you how Sunny Pig is now, we want to remind you about the care sheets you can buy online and download for immediate use. These include checklists, information and record sheets for keeping notes of medication, vet appointments and shopping for your guinea pigs, plus a lot more. I've put a link to where you can buy these in the description below. Now back to Sunny Pig. Now it's two months or so after Sunny Pig's operation and the guinea pigs are back in their original cage but in a different room where they can see us throughout the day. Sunny Pig has changed so much from how she was before her operation. She's really active and demands pea flakes and attention every time someone goes past the cage. Although she doesn't always get the pea flakes as guinea pigs shouldn't eat too many of these. Sunny Pig is still quite small and she hasn't put on a lot more weight, although she's eating much better now and her weight is at least stable, which is good. The most important thing is that she's so much happier. This shows how important it is if you do have a guinea pig that seems unhappy or unwell to get them checked over. They can go downhill fast, particularly if they begin to lose weight. We really weren't sure whether to let her have the operation because she's around five to six years old and there was a chance she wouldn't make it through the procedure. But we're really glad we made the decision to go through with it because her quality of life is so much better now. Although an operation doesn't always end positively and it's a really difficult decision whether to go ahead, Sometimes you need to take that chance to give your guinea pig an opportunity to have a better life. 